What is up everyone? Today I want to take a few moments and talk about the Razer Mamba mouse, um, the software that comes along with it and ways in which you can customize settings for the best gaming experience. So let's get into it. Um, this is the program itself. Here you can see the mouse and the buttons that which you can customize and assign different functions to them. Uh, there's uh, 11 buttons, or at least it says so, one of which is a left click, which you can't actually change. And two and three, well, six and seven here, but yeah, or scroll up and scroll down, and I don't think anyone's gonna be changing that as well. So you're left with um, eight buttons to program, which is okay, uh, it's nice. You can assign a certain function. I, uh, here I have an F5, or you can, it can be default, and then you just click it. You put a keyboard function to it, press F5 and you save. That's one thing and you can actually have it launch a program or something like that. Or a macro. Uh, now the next topic that I want to talk about is performance and the ways you can customize this. Um, there's a lot of debate around this. A lot of it comes down to personal preference. but Let's just have a look. Uh, here we have sensitivity which is the all-known DPI, which stands for dots per inch. So the higher the number, the more sensitive the mouse is and the more precise as well. Um, if you're in a game and if you feel like the mouse is going too fast because it has a 16,000 DPI, you can lower the sensitivity in game, um, which actually means that the mouse will move slower. It will be more more controllable but you will keep the 16,000 DPI precision that the mouse offers, which is actually really important in games, especially the shooters, where you want to be precise. If you're aiming a large distance with a sniper rifle or with any rifle at all, and you just want to make a slight movement to the left or to the right to aim at your target, you can do it really nicely with this. Uh, but if you have a bad mouse, and even if you heighten the sensitivity uh, in game, uh, you're, it actually, when you're trying to move your mouse just a little bit, it's going to be jumping around. The cursor is going to be jumping, you know, and it won't be fun. You won't be able to, to aim well at all. So this is really good to have 16,000 DPI. If it's too sensitive, too fast for you, you can't control it. Just lower the sensitivity in game. And that's basically it. You can uh, enable the X and Y axis uh, sensitivity and you can customize that so it goes, I don't know, it goes slower left and right but it still goes really fast uh, up and down. That's one of the things. Uh, here you have the sensitivity stages, you can select how many sensitivity stages you want, you assign a certain DPI count to them and you can just basically simply change it while you play or on the move with your sensitivity buttons. Um, let's move to acceleration. Okay, this is the next thing. Th now, this is really debatable. Um, some people like it, some people don't. I don't. I have it off. Um, you can put it on and the mouse will be really uncontrollable. Now, this is where it gets tricky because the faster you move your mouse, the larger distance the cursor will travel faster. And uh, this can be really bad in situations like if you're playing a shooter game and somebody starts shooting you from behind uh, and you want to quickly turn around, you want to be able to control that movement, but with the mouse acceleration it's going to be pretty hard um, and it will get out of control, everything will get out of control, but it's something you can get used to with practice and with time if you want, you know, it's an option. Polling rate, now... <laughs> Uh, this is actually the frequency of data updates for the device, which actually means how often does the mouse report its position to the computers. So, um, how often and basically how fast, you know, if, if it's not moving and you move it. It's gonna happen in one millisecond if you have it at 1000 hertz. You can set it at 20, uh, 125. Uh, this, this is uh, one time per every 8 milliseconds or 125 times per second. Mm. Uh, now people say there's not much difference between 500 or 1000 and it comes at a cost of your performance. Um, 
my opinion about it is actually that if you wanted it, if you wanted 500, uh, you could have bought a cheaper mouse. You know, so if you have an option for a thousand, you should use the thousand hertz refresh rate, um, even if you can't notice the difference. And the, um, if you have a mouse like this, you probably have a 4K monitor. And if you have a 4K monitor, you probably have a you, uh, great computer to process this with no problem and handle it the way it should. You know, so <laughs> I think that's that's it. Um, Okay, so you can customize the lighting here and you can adjust the brightness of the lights. Uh, it's quite glowy mouse and I don't really I don't really like it. I haven't found out if you can turn it off. I probably probably can turn it off. I haven't really been um, Yeah. Uh, here you can calibrate your mouse simply like you just click enable surface calibration and it will uh, adjust the mouse to your mouse mat. You can choose your mouse mat from the list or click other if it's other. You save and then it will ask you to move your mouse around for three seconds and it will calibrate it. Uh, here's a section where you can assign macro, uh, where you can make macros. You just click add, you name it, you record the sequence you want, you stop and then you assign uh, a macro to a certain key, um, uh, I mean to a certain button. Here you have Chroma apps, mm. again something for the light show if you want it, if you need it. And this is a section where you can follow the statistics if you enable this function, I haven't enabled it, I don't really know why I would follow this. You can you can follow mouse clicks, you can follow uh, heat maps. Um, mouse movement, keystrokes, everything basically. Great for statistics if you are into it, uh, you can do it. And that's basically it guys, uh, thanks for watching, please share your opinions about the, the topic, about the DPI, about acceleration, do you use it or not, do you think it's good, down in the comments below. If you like the video please hit like and subscribe for more of the stuff like this and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Anyway, take care.